I am not here to debate with anyone. I only debate with my equals, all others I teach. Stand back. Normally, I use a little bit more decorum when I talk to women. Wee bit. Now, when I go in on guys, guess what? It's two barrels, two big smoking barrels. And I am not, you know what? For the sake of this argument, I am going to try not to cuss. I know it's going to come out sooner or later, but I'm going to try not to cuss. Now, we're talking about Lawrence. And by how on paper Lawrence is a is a good is a good dude. Okay? Not only a good dude, an exceptional dude. Because he did go to Georgetown. He did get through a STEM field. He did make it through the landmines that that I would say ninety well, hell, ninety five percent of black men don't make it through. He's an ex, he's an exception. For every Lawrence you got a thousand Daniels. I'm in Los Angeles. I see a thousand Daniels. You talk about Alejandro. I see a thousand of them. My son is not as tall as Alejandro, but he's one of them. Semi-pro basketball player, right? I'm sure he played played against and probably with Sharonis at, at the Drew League. I hear a lot of people talking about insecure. I live this stuff. I'm not going to cuss. When she was walking down Market Street, I am about two miles from Market Street. I've been I've been walking up and down Market Street for about 40 years. In fact, back hell in the 70s, that's where me and my boys used to run up and down the street and play havoc. As a matter of fact, Inglewood was still white at the time that me and my boys ran up and down the street. Okay? On Market Street. Inglewood did not become black until the 80s. That's how far back I go. So I know the area in detail. I know the characters because my because Issa, Issa D character is just like my daughter. I know these characters. I know these. I know them in death because I raised these the people like Molly and Issa D. I raised them. Florence and Crenshaw, where Molly, where the character Molly was actually raised. I'm right down the street. Mavericks Flats is where is where the the Windsor Hill kids and the, the poor Crenshaw kids on the other sides got together and danced. And actually, that's those are the kids you saw on Soul Train. So telling me somebody like Daniel, who is an alpha male. And is exceptional. I know cats like Daniel that that get a couple of hits, and guess what? They're back living at home and in, in, in with their parents. No tons of them. I'm in L.A. I saw this story play out. Dre and M.W.A. are exceptional. Okay, they got lucky, just like all the NFL players and the basketball players that come through L.A. and L.A. City school systems. Hell, if you can you can walk over to Inglewood High, Darby Park, where my son Darby Park and Rogers Park, where I played, and my son played, where I coached him and coached other players. There's walls of names up on there where that went to the NBA player, like Paul Pierce, played at Inglewood. Inglewood High's names right there. A whole bunch of cats came through Inglewood. Marcus Johnson, all these people that uh, that actually went to the NBA, went to the NFL, uh, basically went to the the NF, you know, went to the NFL, went to the Major League Baseball. They're exceptions. These alpha males, as you put it, can, have not and cannot raise the black community. You need more Lawrences. You need a team of Lawrences. There should be a team of Lawrences coming out of the black community. One thing that Chrissy said to me that pissed me off the same stuff that SWP Sergeant Willie P says the same doggone thing. Black men should be ahead of their women. 
It's the same ma girl magic thinking that that insecure uh, psychiatrist was talking about to Molly in this particular series. This should. In other words, it should magically it should magically show up. Black men just should magically come out and start kicking ass and taking names. They should do that just by the nature of them being black. And if that doesn't happen, that means black men are no good and black men are weak. And we have uh, we trash our black men. Because they are not like those guys. They're not like white men. They're not like Asian men. And they're not even like Hispanic men even in, anymore. Africans from the continent come over here and clean up and basically clean up. It can't be the society. It can't be the women. It has to be these, these defective black men that can't get it together, can't grind, can't be alpha males, can't do anything. They're just ineffectual. We need to get rid of them. They go to jail. They they pop babies uh, with with women. Uh, they don't take care of the kids. Blah 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 blah. On and on and on and on and on. And generation after generation after generation, these black men just grow up and they become nothing. They're genetically defective, and we can't do nothing about it because this is just the way black men are. And on the surface, you know what, Chrissy? On the surface, I agree with you. Black men should be better. Black men should be on par with white guys. Black men should start their own businesses. Black men should get out there and be the best and get out there and kick ass and take names. Black men should be alpha males. Black men should be ahead of their women. That's what they should be doing. I agree with you because if it's a true patriarchy, that's what should happen, right? There's only one damn thing that's wrong with this picture is that black men live in a matriarchy and have been so for 120 years. And that's the elephant in the room, like Ron Will said, that black women ignore. Black women expect black men to turn 18 years old and with nothing, with absolutely nothing, turn out to be model citizens. Not get in trouble, stay in school, uh, get good grades, go out there and start businesses, go out there and be assertive, go out and, and make money and know how and go out and make networks. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, make networks and all that stuff. That's that supposed to be black men magic. Spring some sprinkles. Our, our magical vaginas will sprinkle uh, uh, magic coochie dust on these black men. All of a sudden, they're supposed to get motivated and go out and, and slay dragons. But they forget those ages from zero to 18. They forget that black boys being at the bottom of every statistic in the country will produce what? Black men that are at the bottom of every statistic in the country. What do you think you're going to get? For 120 years, we have promoted black girls over black boys. You have put your girls, your women ahead of your men. And then all of a sudden, now you're mad that your women are ahead of your men. You get an 18, 20 year head start. You get all the perks. You throw your black boys to scraps and then expect them to, to magically make those scraps, build something and get ahead of you. Are you freaking kidding me? This is what I can't stand. This is why I can't stand about YouTube. This is what I can't stand about black women, period. The irrational stupidity, the compound ignorance that keeps showing up generation after generation after generation, the shit does not work. And you, you hear, see the results of it. You can't put garbage in and get get what diamonds out of the other end. It doesn't work that way. I was just I was just out, out of the clear blue sky. We got a black president. And because he didn't have his father in his life, what was he trying to do? He called on black men to be better, to be fathers, to be uh, better at school, be better at business. In other words, the black men do better. And black men said, you're not giving us anything to be better with. So he tried to start a foundation specifically aimed at getting black boys a chance to actually be better to actually get through school, to actually get the education, get the training so they could be better men. 
Instead of living with the horrible statistics that we see our boys go through and nobody says anything. Oh, poor thing. The prison to pipeline. Oh, let's let's get the absentee fathers that had to go through the same doggone hell to come back and actually help these boys. Because us women's who have these boys, they're getting funds for these boys. We can't do anything. It's not our fault. We're going to wash our hands because we can't do anything. So in other words, when men actually get together and try to do something, guess who sabotages the effort? In other words, if if girls who already are ahead of the boys, especially in the feminist system that we live in today, if you can't give something to the girls, then basically we're going to scrap the program. And for the most part, yeah, four years later, five years later, guess what? The program is basically scrapped. There's very little with that program, my brother's keeper. If you want to do anything for black boys, you have to fight to get it done. You have to fight the white government. You have to fight uh, the local white racists. You, and you have to fight your own doggone women to do anything for your black boys. Because at the end of the day, they don't want to do anything for the black boys. You come, you, you come into a college, any college that's in the United States, any high school that's in the United States that's black, the girls are ahead of the boys. The boys are pushed to the back. The reading, the California reading scores. Who's at the bottom? Who's always at the bottom? And you let black boys be at the bottom. Monaghan said the same damn thing 50 years ago. And he was using research that was 30 years old. If you don't fix your black boys, if you don't fix your black men, guess what's going to happen to your black family and your black society? Why do you think Asian men and, and white men are ahead of us? Why do you think African men are ahead of us? Because they put an emphasis on their boys. Their boys are raised to lead. The resources are put into those boys so that they can lead. So you think that you don't you think that you can't put resources and you can't put time and, and patience into your men and you think you're gonna get diamonds? Are you freaking kidding me? Societies are groups. Whatever that society emphasizes emphasizes will grow. Whatever you water will grow. Whatever you don't water will wilt. The black society is getting what it asked for. Black women are getting what they asked for. They're getting what they put in. Black women don't want to put anything in. You expect good men, but you don't put anything into having good men. I'm listening to Chrissy, and the thing is, I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do that. I Black women shouldn't have to do this, that, or the other. And you know what? I agree with you. You shouldn't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to put anything into your men. You don't have to put anything into your boys. You don't have to put anything into your society. And guess what you're going to get out on the other end? Nothing. And the men that can or have some kind of potential that's unrealized are going to go to where they're going to get watered, go to where they're going to get fed, go to where they're going to get encouraged. Oh, poor baby, poor my, my, poor kid. Okay, you can't get yourself together. You're a beta male, and and, ba and basically, I'm going to go find me an alpha male that's gonna, that can do it on his own. Good. So when a woman picks that, of another race, picks that beta male that you tossed to the side that you couldn't work with, polish him up, fixes on him, and he comes out a diamond. Then you get mad. Well, I hear Sergeant Willie P say it all the time. He he didn't make himself. He had a whole society around him to make who, him who he was and his brother. But that's not so, supposed to count for all the other black men. They're just supposed to raise themselves. Now I'm going to cuss. Black women and black society treat boys like black boys like shit. If my brother's keeper had been a white initiative, white women from all over the country would have been funding money to get it done. Why? Because they need better boys. 
White women are taking down affirmative action. Why? Because they want those slots for their boys. There are white women out there fighting for their boys. They want to make sure that their boys get the first slot, get the best jobs because their boys have to support a family. You know, I am getting tired of hearing that. Or oh, we can't sacrifice uh, the needs of black women for black boys because we in the same boat. Even though your black boys are, are way down the ladder and they're not doing good. I don't see no women sending out any lifelines to help pull these their own boys. I mean, I'm not talking about boys from another race or boys from another culture. These are your men. These are your future men. These are your children. These are your babies. And you're not even helping them because they're boys, because you hate them. I just wish black women would admit it. You hate your men. You hate your males. What you're waiting for, waiting to happen is that the Lawrences of the world get put through a meat grinder, get all chopped up, and the ones that survive, oh, that's the one we'll take. We're going to all rush to this one because those are the ones that made it out of the meat grinder. And then you look around and wonder where the rest of them are. They're all chewed up. You let this society chew up your men, chew up your boys, and then wonder where your men are. Then you demand the, the few men that actually make it through the doggone meat grinder to come back and help you. That's why the so-called educated lames, when they become classic men, don't come back. You put them through a meat grinder and they're not going back through it a second time. Every other race, every other culture, when it comes to their men, they women bite their lip because they know at the end of the day, they need these people. Yeah, you shouldn't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. But at the end of the day, what are you going to get out on the other side? You're not going to, you didn't put anything in. You're not going to get anything out. So Issa, yes, Issa should have helped Lawrence. Yes, Issa should have babysat him. Yes, Issa should have nursed him back to health. Yes, Issa should have gotten him help. Yes, Issa should have done whatever she she should have done to help this man. Because that's her man. Because if the situation was reversed and, and Issa was sitting on the couch, Issa was depressed, Issa couldn't get herself going, it would have been Lawrence's responsibility to do what? Find her help and pull her through. That's called, if you love that person, if you don't love him, if you don't love him, stop saying that you love him. Even if they didn't live together, even if they lived in separate, separate households, if that's her man and she, and she loves him, she's supposed to help him. Just like he's supposed to help her. Just like that dude, just like them back in the day that that dude, because he loved that woman would take on her kids and raise those kids as his. Because at the end of the day, we all we got. If you want the black community to survive, we all we got. And if if Miss if Chrissy is an example of the women that we have, fuck the black community. Let it go down in flames. You're already three quarters of the way any there anyway. The Chrissies of the world, the other dark skinned women, whoever they are, you need to go to immediately to the other side, to the white suburbs, and go find you white men immediately just stop go to the other side and find you white men go find you the men that you desire stop playing games the reason that insecure and the women have such angst about lawrence is not because he was on the couch it's not because he says has cheated it's because he left he left and he went to the other side and they do not want lawrence to succeed because if lawrence succeeds that means Issa's a failure if, if the men start seeing themselves in Lawrence and Lawrence goes to the other side and su succeeds, guess what's going to happen? That's going to be a note to men that these women are not on your side. If the Brooklyn Blues, the Crystal Karazin, Kristen, Crystal Karazin and the, uh, those ilk or any representation of the black women that we have, that means these black women are not on your side. They're in for themselves. And the history points it out. There's no way that any society can allow their boys to be at the bottom and then have to go compete with the groups of other men whose society supports them. As Monaghan said, that the fact that the black family survived with the deplorable state of its men is a modern miracle. 
And I'm going to say it. I'm going to say this and I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to close it out with the women that we have. With the women that we're raised by, with the with all the factors that and statistics that black men had to go through for the past 200 years, the fact that we are even here from the alpha male to the educated lame down to freaking Pookie and Ray Ray in prison, the fact that we are even here is a modern miracle because we should have died out a long time ago. We should have went the way of the Native American to we're less than 1% of the population. That's where we should be. It's a testament to my brothers that we're still here. We had to go through this freaking meat grinder and this hell hole, and we're still here. Because you ain't going to get no help. So I say to Sergeant Willie P. and the Chrissies and the Chrislin Karazin, I, you know what I'm going to say? Fuck y'all. Okay? We're still here. We got shackles and we, we got shackles. We got to wait the weight and the, and the might of the United States on our backs and we're still here. We don't get child support. We don't get welfare. We don't get none of that stuff. Stop letting them shame you. Stop letting them say that you're nothing because that's what low key. That's what they're saying about you. That's what they're trying to say. Low key. They're saying that you're nothing. That you don't deserve to breathe air. That you don't deserve support. That you deserve, do you deserve what you're getting from, from not only your women, but the United States of America. You deserve it. That's what they're trying to tell you. So as far as as far as building for these heifers, as far as what they're getting out of black America, they're getting what they deserve, period. That's what they put in. And the Lawrence's of the world, just like on Insecure, they should let him go. Go find, go, let him go to a blonde haired blue eyed Becky or an Aparna and stay on that side because their partner in 30 days helped him way more than Issa did in five years. That's obvious. Anyway, that's the end of my rant. And I'm going to say this at the very end don't send me any more Chrissy videos, don't even post her shit on my channel. In fact, I'm unsubscribing from Sergeant from Infinite Wisdom and Sergeant Willie Pete as of today because I don't want to hear this mess no more. You ain't you ain't got no solutions. Sergeant Willie Pete and the rest of his zilka just like the, the women. All they do is complain. They ain't got nothing. Ten years of complaining, they ain't got nothing. He's doing the same thing that those two hundred men that wrote the letter to Barack Obama saying that black girls should be included in my brother's keeper. They never wrote a letter saying that, that men need to be included in Black Girls Magic or any one of the other thousands of programs for girls that they have. They never say they need to include boys or black boys, do they? Ever. Thousands of programs for black girls to be in technology, medicine, or whatever. They never include black boys. But you have one program for black boys that doesn't include black girls. And guess what? The the, the Sergeant Willie Peets and the Chrissies and their ill come out and say, what about girls? Black boys shouldn't need any help. They should be men and do it on their own. Self-starters. The world's not built on self-starters. The world is built on training the men or training the, pe the people in the society to do what they need to do. There's no such thing as a freaking self-starter. You take advantage of the apparatus that's there. Anyway, that's all I got. That's the end of my rant. This is BGS out.